All right, you guys, in what is the final couple of um, 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days, in my final video of the day as well, we've got Larry and Jenny. Larry is the American and Jenny is the girl he met on Filipino Cupid. Now, before we jump into this, I just wanna tell you my thoughts on Larry. He's one of those people where they're just so like, I don't know, like they seem very touched or something, like slow, not like in the way like, oh, he seems like mentally slow or whatever, it's just emotionally off, like childlike, like his eyes and everything. There's something very creepy and childish about his emotional levels, okay? And so you're gonna, you're gonna see a lot about that throughout the season and um, this recap as well. So for example, Larry was warned in a previous episode by his cousin and his cousin's wife that Jenny seems to be just using him to get to America and that uh, the wife had done a lot of investigative work on Jenny's Facebook account and discovered that she'd been talking to multiple men, multiple men from America to see who is going to take the bait, marry her, and bring her over. And Larry just absolutely refuses to have any of it. When he brings up their concerns to Jenny, she tells him that she's surprised by all of this and that she doesn't like them and that he should trust her because she's given him her password. So that means she can't be hiding anything, right? Of course, Larry agrees and tells her that he thinks that she's the one for him. And um, you just feel so bad for how naive this guy is to be so old. Like for example, he's like, oh my God, Jenny's my dream woman. So beautiful, so kind, like I love her so much. And then when the producers ask her what she thinks about him, all she could say is, uh, he's got this nose that's big and I, I guess I kind of like that and he just, this goes over his head. He just doesn't see anything wrong or um, any disparity between the level of investment in this relationship. I mean, he's got a whole 401k riding on this and still does not feel the need to be more prudent about the whole entire situation. The couple checks into a luxury hotel and Larry hopes that Jenny's gonna like it because again, like I said, and like he keeps saying throughout the episode, he's using his 401k to fund it. So their scene when they get to the concierge desk at the hotel was just, Oh my goodness, like the concierge person asks like, hey, are you here for business or pleasure? Which is something that's typically asked at hotels or whatever. And instead of just saying we're here for pleasure, they're both like, we're here for love. And Larry, I don't remember off the top of my head what he said, but he said something that kind of implied like intimacy or like they'd be sleep. I was like, this is just too much information. Just say you're here for leisure and call it a day. Get your little keys and scurry on up. You do not need to let the whole world know your business. In another confessional with producers, Larry reiterates the fact that he loves Jenny. He thinks she's the one and that he's planning on proposing to her. And so when they hint to her about, you know, the idea of them being married and stuff, all Jenny can say is, yeah, I think it'd be nice to be married because I'd have a nicer life in the U.S. I don't know how these Americans do it. Like watching back the way a lot of these people speak about them, I would feel so shitty about myself if I heard that this is all someone had to say about me when I'm over here like spilling my heart out, so excited, so like in love. It's just uh, so difficult to watch. We've seen this with a couple other couples in the past as well and they're still together to this day. I guess these marriages are really business agreements through and through, which there's nothing wrong with. It's just, it should be a business agreement between the two people, not one person being all the way on cloud nine and one person being on cloud 0 0.5. Back at the hotel, the two of them cuddle in bed and start talking about, you know, their romantic lives. Larry lets us all know that he hasn't slept with a woman. He kept emphasizing a woman. Did you notice that? in 14 years since the last woman that gave him a child and um he's like i don't wanna like sleep with someone until we're married and jenny is a robot who is just trying to get that green card so she's gonna agree with anything he says so all of a sudden she's like yeah you know what i believe in the same philosophy i believe in the exact same thing yes dear I agree, let's not do that. And um, Larry also know, lets us know as well that he's got two kids by two different women and he's scarred because neither of the women ever wanted to get married. They were open to having kids, but not open to getting married. And of course, that seems like a really, really painful experience, but he could have been a lot smarter than that. You didn't have to have kids with people who didn't want to marry you. And speaking of dumb, Jenny literally says that her type is American and dumb. 
could we have a possible jackpot here? But don't count Larry out quite yet because he actually says in a confessional that he still has what his cousin and his cousin's wife were telling him in the back of his mind. And he is kind of suspicious of Jenny's online activity. And so he therefore is going to confront her with her activities sometime down the line, just not quite yet. They just met each other and they still want to settle in. And he's, you know, still getting to know the Philippines as well. And um, I don't like I wanted to say for a second wanting to know whether or not this is a relationship that he wants to be in but it seems like he's sold on that regardless of whether or not they actually are compatible which is a sad reoccurring theme you can see so many relationships are just not built around compatible people but the people are just so desperate for companionship that they'll accept any and everything and so that wraps up all of the scenes between Jenny and Larry on this episode of 90 day fiance before the 90 90 days. Are you guys as skeeved out as I am by how big of a user Jenny is and how emotionally naive and young Larry seems to be? I can't quite put my finger on it. I'm trying to find the perfect adjective, but there's something about like the way he speaks and his eyes that make me feel like really creeped out and not creeped out that he's a predator, but like creeped out in like a bone chilling. Like this is probably like a secret, like you don't know what kind of way. Do you guys understand what I'm getting at? Like certain people, their presence just creeps you out and makes your bones chill and like your skin crawl. It, it's not that they're disgusting or repulsive. It's just there's something about them that is inherently off and it's a very serious something. I feel like Jenny might be acting to him in order to get him to marry her and bring her to the United States thinking that she really did catch a dumb American. But I feel like Larry is the even bigger actor pretending to be naive, emotionally like immature like that. And as soon as he gets her over here, it's game over and you don't even want to know what happens next because there are quite a few people like that. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. You can also like this video, subscribe for more. Feel free to share it with your friends as well and follow me across social media where I absolutely love chatting with you. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.